Lesson 1-5, Introduction to Volume. Today, you explored the concept of volume as you compared volumes of three-dimensional objects. So tonight at home, you need to find either a cereal, you need to find a cereal bowl, a drinking glass, and a coffee mug, or items that are similar. Now, you have to decide which item has the greatest volume. And so the one I have that has the greatest volume is a coffee mug. I have a big old coffee mug I like to use. Then it says, which item has the smallest volume? Again, this is your answer. Mine is the drinking glass I grabbed from the cabinet. And then it says, explain your answers. So how do I know? My coffee mug is, and so I need you to describe how. My coffee mug can fit my drinking glass inside it. That's why I think it has the greatest volume. It holds more liquid in it than the drinking glass. Your practice problems are to find the area of each rectangle. Number four has all the lines drawn for you, so remember you can either count everything, you can use uh, repeated addition, or you can do some multiplication. Five, so this one, if I did the repeated addition, I might do so you have to do three and a half eight times. And so on. I'm not going to write it all. So then I would end up with 24. And then I would have eight halves. So two goes into eight four times. So I know I'm going to have to do 24 plus four, which equals 28 square inches. For number five, you can extend the lines if you need to, use repeated addition like I did, or you can try the multiplication, which would be seven times three and one third. Or do a combo. Do the multiplication for the seven and three, and then do repeated addition for the one third.